Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry, not sorry. Boom. They say this cat salves a bad mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Welcome to IGL, everybody. My name's Christopher <laughs> Nowagan. I'm Fam Cam. How you how you doing? I'm doing good. Bro, it's been a minute. It has. So you guys, here's the thing. I was in a coma. Okay. Not anymore, as you can see, because I'm talking to you. But I was in a coma, still in the hospital. We're recording this from the hospital. But we booked this marvelous young lady on the program. And I had to be here via my phone just to to interview this girl because she's that good. She's only come up. She's about to blow up. It's going to be amazing. It's just I see nothing but big things for her. And she's not only smart, she's beautiful, intelligent, and just really good at ASMR. So everybody give it up for Sav ASMR. Welcome to It's Getting Late. Thank you. What a wonderful introduction. That's so kind of you. Yeah, girl, I'm real good at this job. He really (laughs) is. He's a tough act to follow. I'm uh, really. Uh, <laughs> I am like, gosh, I don't know what to say, but hello. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to do. It's nice to uh, yeah, meet kidding. you guys. Is his voices. Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah, man. Not voice so too. one-sided anymore. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I have plenty of sides. Thank you very much. <laughs> Name them. So, uh, the front, From the back. back. Top. Both sides, but yeah, but th- well, those are the sides. Then where are the front and the back? Listen, man, I got out of a coma. Why are you trying to make me think? <laughs> uh, Speaking of brains, though, <laughs> I understand it that you're quite the big brain yourself. I uh, I would like to say that my brain's got some ridges. So what got you interested in psychology? For those of you that don't know, uh, Ms. Sav here has a degree in psychology. Yes, That's right. I have a bachelor's degree. Bachelor's um, degree What got club? you interested in psychology? I got into it while I was in community college for a while when you just have to kind of take a little bit of everything here and there just to get the general ed out of the way. And I took yep. just a Psych 101 class and I thought that it was something that I could really enjoy. I thought it was really fascinating. They talked about all the different kind of things you could go into. So when I transferred to it was actually initially for theater, but I changed majors a year into psychology. I thought that psychology was absolutely fascinating and I thought it would be something that I could be potentially like good at so I decided to switch my major to that and um, I spent a good two years studying and got my bachelor's and then I'm still minored in theater because it was still near and dear to my heart as well was that your major previously yes yeah what did you uh has a really good theater program oh what uh, what genre of theater were you pursuing uh, it was just, you kind of go in just for like the general dramatic arts mm. and you work on whatever the, you, you mostly work on whatever the professors and the, the grad students want to do. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. That's, um, but that's I did a lot of for you. Uh, uh, stage management, actually. Nice. Ah. Do you ever take any of the stuff that you learned um, there and put it into your 
ASMR, like the 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 stuff you know from drama and stuff. Oh well, I would say I guess doing theater kind of gets you more comfortable with um, definitely talking to people and being really collaborative because it's always like you're always working with teams. Yeah. You're barely ever gonna work on like a theater project by yourself. Um, Me too. I was a theater kid, just so you know. So it kind of gets you into the mindset of like, okay, I need to actually like talk to people and introduce myself and try to get my like get myself out there and like make connections. I feel I was already like that, but that's I think that has more to do with being a disabled person. Mm. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, I think for me, I had to sort of. I, I always was afraid that people would sympathy be my friend. You know what I mean? Oh mm. yeah, I as as an autistic person, I I've always had that fear too. Yeah, so I I always tried, even to this day to make my personality be a bit brighter, mm. you know, you show a little bit more color. Like first step. Yeah. Well, I don't take any steps because my legs don't work. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, no. Figuratively speaking. Oh, God. Don't, don't worry, Sav. This is Got routine. This is, this is a, this is a, um, this is a recurring, uh, meme. In that case, then I meant it. I meant what I said. I don't take it back. <laughs> you can't take it back, just like I can't take back my ability to not walk. Oh, you guys, I think it's time for the joke of the day, and then we're going to switch gears a little bit. All right, hit me with it. So, Miss Savage Sav, mm -hmm. what do you call a man with a really small member in his pants? That really likes cookies. I don't know. Uh, I'm laughing because I know this joke. <laughs> I heard it. I don't earlier. know what the actual punchline, but I'm just want to say something. I don't know, John, whatever his name is. <laughs> John. <laughs> no. <Mark. laughs> Snickerdoodle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard you tell this one before. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but the audience hasn't heard it, you guys. Follow Christopher Not Walking on Instagram and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Get more I of love, these jokes. I love dad jokes. Yeah. I write jokes, and then I put them on Instagram and Twitter, like, immediately. Yeah. Excellent. That is true. It's always just the yeah. simplest, just dumb stuff, though, that makes me just cackle. Oh, same. <laughs> You ever just start cackling while you're uh, doing ASMR? Like, just <laughs> something catches your eye. Who doesn't? <laughs> if it's, I mean, it's never, like, so spontaneous, but sometimes people will know that, like, the jokes get me, and they'll throw in a couple here and there, and I'll laugh. Yeah. Just because how, like, silly and dumb it is. But every now and then, there's a good one that makes, makes me genuinely <laughs> just lose it a little bit. Oh, yeah. I love it. Chris broke me while I was on stream so many times. It's not even funny. Well, it is funny, but you get my point. Oh, yeah. I think sometimes people try to do that on purpose. Yeah. Guys, I just opened up a bag of popcorn. Oh, man, I want popcorn. I should have I should have got popcorn because I should have known that you would eat popcorn while we're on this show. It's white cheddar popcorn which Ooh. is the best popcorn mm. that's a good one Sav how do you feel about white cheddar popcorn excellent excellent kind of popcorn cheesy Queen. popcorn and like kettle popcorn mm. oh I love kettle corn anything as long as it's not just buttered popcorn yeah butter is crap yeah I, I work like at a movie theater I, I like butter popcorn homemade if it's fresh, you worked in a theater? Yeah. And it, What's the I dumbest mean, thing a guy said to you while you worked at a theater? Oh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> it's tough because I think a lot of times when you go out, it's just like your brain changes and you're not... 
<laughs> you're not a functional person anymore all the time, so sometimes reason. Just I'm only half functional all the time. Yeah, but uh, you, you know, know why? Some, it's just because really, his like, legs don't work. Like a, yeah. Oh, because <laughs> my legs don't work, Sav. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it was a long time ago, though. I can't remember what anybody ever really said to me, but there were definitely characters. I bet. It, that definitely prepared you for streaming, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just any customer service job. Oh, yeah. The kind of weirdos. She turned MD albums off quick, son. She was like, no. Yeah, seriously. I I did the exact same thing. You cannot... Unless unless you're my friend on Twitch, where I DM'd you first, you cannot DM me on Twitch because oh, I've because yeah. well I I I've done it more because of modding than streaming because I've had trolls just fucking harass me like hell after mm. I time them out or ban them stuff like that and it just I was getting sick of it. I did it pretty early on. I turned off like whispers on twitch pretty early just because i didn't want to have to like deal with weird people yeah. and even on discord i'm like you have to be friends with me for me to even see the message but i i don't even use it for like chatting i just use it for just kind of checking up on things yeah wow ah, look at her she's anti-social media Mm-hmm. <laughs> well i mean I'm, I'm 26 so i feel like i've reached a good point in my life where i know that I just don't have to put up with that kind of stuff anymore. Meanwhile, I'm almost 34 and I still deal with that shit. <laughs> no. No, you just got to I'm 33. Let it to you. I don't take any I'm 33 stuff that I see and personally. and I look at the Twitters and I look at the TikToks and I'm like watching the TikToks for like oh, an yeah. hour. Just, just because earlier today, you your died. dad, your dad was watching uh, TikTok, and you're like, "What the hell is this?" And then, like two <laughs> hours later, you're watching it too. <laughs> yeah, like two hours later, I started watching. But here's why, okay, guys, I did not know the TikTok had butts. Okay, I didn't know it was possible not to know that. I didn't think so either, to be honest. I feel like that's. <laughs> That's why a lot of people got on it. You know, I didn't know for the booty. You want to know what I like to watch on TikTok? There's this yes, um, there's this ER doctor that um that gives um gives health tips and ER related tips. Um, Stevio, mm -hmm. it's the same mm -hmm. as tips from the ER, followed by a hilarious rants about how everybody's doing everything wrong at the ER. Oh no! Oh, no. It's 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 amazing. Most of my stuff's like animals, like just cat videos. Uh that's that's what I <laughs> that's what I spend most of my time on IG for, just uh, uh animal pictures, especially rabbits. I, I love <laughs> rabbits so much. Oh, bones. Rabbit is my spirit uh, animal. I like food pictures. My friend has a rabbit and his name is Hippo and he's the cutest thing. Aw. He splutes. Food pictures is what I usually post these days, most, mostly to troll Chris. <laughs> oh no torture him. I just I just post all my plant based uh loves on Instagram just You know to, just now we have to them. ask the audience. So mean. Keith, now we have to poll the audience. Oh. Mm. Let us know in the comments. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Oh boy. I say no, okay? I say but pineapple hell on yeah. pizza. It's a damn crime. It's a crime against pizza. And I said, no, we're not doing it. Listen to me, all right? My name is Christopher Not Walking. I survived a coma, okay? That means that I am correct, okay? So fuck you and your damn pineapples on pizzas. Not happening. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it so <laughs> Woo! much. Pineapple pizza's been my favorite pizza ever since I was a kid. Me too. Me too. But it's okay. You know, no, not everybody has to like the same That's food. the thing. People who are for pineapple pizza are open to people who are against it. But people who are against it uh, want to control what the rest of us eat. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. You know what? I think we're, the, we're in the you right. Know, <laughs> you know what? I don't like so this. Mean. 
I feel like you two set me up, <laughs> and and I'm I'm calling the police. So, switching gears again. Mr. Van is a big brain ASMR lady from Twitch. Question. Mm-hmm. Answer. That's what I always say. <laughs> you really are from California. <laughs> Go for it. So, your psychology, I'm going to do this as Dusty Rhodes just because I feel like it. You probably don't know who Dusty, none of you probably know who Dusty Rhodes is. But somebody listening does, and that's all that matters, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, today we have before us Miss Savannah, and I have to ask you about your psychology degree, okay? Now, how does that relate? How does that connect, if you will, to your ASMR content and your interactions with the ASMR community that you have built for yourself on Twitch. Well, well, it's interesting. I think that um, studying psychology, I definitely have learned to have a lot more empathy for people um, I think most people want to believe that they're generally good people. Yeah. Um, so I try to give people the benefit of the doubt usually, and I can understand. And I usually try not to have judgments about people that use ASMR as sort of like, I mean, for whatever you know reason they need to use it for. It's, it's interesting, the more you learn about psychology, the more you learn that uh, it's not really about explaining why people behave the way they do. It's more about understanding, like, the behaviors, like, the patterns. Um, Understanding why people are the way they are. Not why, but how, kind of, if that makes sense. Yeah, Uh, We can never really 100% explain, like, this is why people do this. But we can say things like, we've noticed that when this happens, people tend to behave in this way. We don't really know why, but we think this is maybe why. Um, I feel like... I feel like, for me, my whole, like, going into the ASMR world was definitely partly in do- due to my disability. Um, 100%. Um, like, I don't know. I just... Do you think that if you didn't ha- like haven't hadn't gone through everything that you'd gone through that you would never have really um taken a look at asmr i don't think i would be the same person at all hmm. i don't think i would i would be me and that honestly scares me so like i'm i'm quite content and quite happy with yeah i've had a lot of scary things happen even very recently just almost died but i wouldn't trade the disability aspects of it because a lot of those things made me who i am a lot of those uh things that come with disability that that you don't really hear people talk about like loneliness and, and and stuff like that like i've read studies uh about you know connection human connection and sexuality and um disability right and the correlation between uh human touch and depression and how it seems to be higher in how depression seems to be higher in disabled people and elderly people because they lack a lot of human contact, a lot of human touch. Yeah. Like, and I'm not just talking about like sexual stuff. I'm talking about like hugs, like mm-hmm. somebody like shaking your hand, like giving you a high five, like all of those things. They fall under that umbrella. Oh, and, definitely. And I, I feel like for me, I was sort of in that 
category for a while, right? Um, so when I found ASMR, I was like, oh, well, hell, you can kind of feel this mm-hmm. massage thing. You yeah. can kind of, you can, and I noticed that my moods would change. I was a lot happier. Um, so that's why I am so passionate about it, and I will always defend it. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, as you were saying. Twitch makes such a good, like, platform for that, too, just because of how interactive it is, and you're getting that, like, social interaction with people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, Sav, um, how did you originally get into ASMR? Well, I, I was thinking about this. I was like, when is the first actual, like, ASMR video that I'd ever seen? And, um... I think it was like years ago I just saw some video on Facebook of this lady like eating like really crunchy pickles like a 60 second kind of interview thing and they're like why do you do this she's like you know I just people like listening to it like it calms them down and I was like I have no idea what this is (laughs) and I was looking through the comments and I think somebody was mentioning ASMR and I eventually like just looked some stuff up on YouTube thought it was super weird but it was like a slippery slope of like watching one thing, like, okay, maybe I'll watch this one thing. And then, when's the first um, time you fell asleep to one? Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, my guess is probably some sort of like scalp massage. Those are always good. So you like that oh, yeah. sort of it's, like that sort of like ocean sound it's type thing. The continuous white noise stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's oh, why you that's know why I, I really love like... Fluffy Mike so much because it's <laughs> yeah. uh, because it's so ocean like and exactly. chilling chilling by the yeah. waves. The ocean is the best. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry, I t- sorry, I totally cut you off, Chris. Uh, what <laughs> what okay. what do you really like? Yeah, I live in Charleston, so I I, I totally get the whole ocean thing. I love. Yeah. Um, I live in Charleston, South Carolina, so like I love the beach. I'm right by the beach, even mm-hmm. in the hospital I'm at right now. Five minutes from the beach. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm like Ugh. an hour from the beach. Oh, no. So. <laughs> but, people um, watching are like, we're like several hours <laughs> of flight from the beach. Oh, no. <laughs> First world you like. <laughs> Coastal <laughs> people problems. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know what I really like? I really like speak you because you mentioned white noise i really really like like okay so i'm a big fan of star trek Mm -hmm. um i have found channels on youtube that will do like seven or eight hours sometimes 12 hours sometimes 24 hours of like continuous like you know the background noise that's in Star Trek on the ships? Mm, this, uh, describe it. Yeah. I, I it, need sounds like, too. it sounds like the engines, right? Okay. So it's the sound of the engines of those. I love listening to that. Or like that's a really cool. Hum. Yeah. And also, I love listening to airplanes. Oh yes. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I could help you with that. Even though those airplane sounds are virtual. <laughs> yeah, I like airplanes. Yeah, me too. Airplane humming is super relaxing to me. That's part of why I decided to incorporate Flight Simulator into my ASMR streams because I've, um, before the pandemic, one of my favorite th- things to do in travel was. Um, fall asleep on a plane even more than the vacation itself just just ride in a plane enjoy the view Mm. and then fall asleep i just love it so much and i when the when the after the pandemic hit my draconis introduced me to flight simulator and i was like huh i could emulate that feeling i love so much by putting flight simulator into asmr and um and people love it that's awesome and it's a it's a wonderful experience do do you have like when you play it, do you have like the 
I don't know, what's the word? Just, like, the controls. How do you control it with, like, an actual kind of, like, with joysticks or... Um, like an Xbox I, controller. Yeah, I, I steer it with an Xbox controller. Most of the controls are with an Xbox controller, but oh, okay. um, but a few of them are, are with the keyboard and mouse, so it's it's a combination of the two. And then I have my my um, Lewitt mics and, um, and 3DO in front of me so that when the flight is stable and I can have it flying without me touching the controls, I do ASMR like normal with flight simulator in the background. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when he touches his mics, sometimes when he touches his mics, you guys. Oh God! Mm-hmm. Where is this going? Photoshop. I Photoshop dicks on him. Oh yeah, I knew that. That he's been doing that for like two years. I'm surprised that's not immediately what he's all, I he, thought you were going to say. He, he's also done that a couple times with like toothbrushes. Because like yeah, cause he like, took a picture with the toothbrush, and then I I've, I photoshopped it into a dick. Yeah. In classic Are you Christopher not pictures, pictures of you with a toothbrush? Yeah. This is like Where are you getting those? This pictures? is like pre beard era. Why are you well, taking pictures of you brushing your teeth? Well, because because a couple of years ago I got a, a new electric toothbrush I really liked and um I wanted to show it off for whatever yeah. fucking reason. And you wanna uh, just hold it in your hand and take a picture? <laughs> you had, he had it in, in his mouth, bro. You had to get in there. Yeah, it it was in my mouth. Right. Well, I appreciate yeah. the commitment. He had it I'm in sh- his mouth. I'm sure it's somewhere and on so the IGL Discord in uh, Meme Wars. I will not look for it. <laughs> she will. Yeah. I absolutely will not. I promise. I mean, I don't, I don't <sighs> care. It's, it's there. I have the it's attention funny. span of like a goldfish too, so I'll, I will immediately forget in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Me too. Except mine's coma induced. What's yours? Excuse I just get distracted really easily sometimes, especially if I've got a lot going on. But at the same time, I consume media in such an unhealthy way. (laughs) I'll have a show going on and maybe I'll be having a conversation with someone or or So you're just like a game. A really smart squirrel. No, just hmm. (laughs) A very overstimulated squirrel. I don't know what it is, but it's like if I read a book or something, I need something to be going on in the background. Yeah. And not pay attention you. to. And I don't know why that is. I feel you. W- reading a book with ocean sounds in the background is the freaking best, whether it's actual ocean or not. Mm-hmm. Ocean sounds in general are the best. They really I are. Wonder why. I wonder why that is an interesting thing to think about well because it's calm and continuous but why the moon (laughs) um (laughs) the moon (laughs) i have i have psychology i have i have an uh uh a a guess Mm -hmm. all right here's my theory all right i feel like it starts when we're still in the womb Mm, very popular theory, yes. Because of the blood flow sounds? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that that's one of the first things we hear. Mm. It's a sound like that, and I think it's very calming to us. Yeah. Makes sense. Sometimes I like to put a stethoscope on, like, random parts of my body where my heart isn't and just listen to my blood flow. (laughs) I haven't done that in a while, but, yeah. You know... One uh, thing that's very popular in ASMR right now is heartbeat sounds. Yes, absolutely. Putting a, th- putting and... a 3DO to your heart or putting a stethoscope to your heart and putting the uh, earpieces into the ears of the 3DO, really, really effective. Wow. And I think I think that plays, the same thing sort of plays into that. Yeah. That's one of those things that I could imagine that could be very either soothing or unsettling. One thing that I've seen <laughs> recently that I really, really sort of like, uh, I get it. Um, I saw a girl, I'm not going to name her, um, but Jessica. I saw a girl. It's not what? Jessica. <laughs> I, Who the I, fuck I, is Jessica? I just pulled a random name out of the hat. You guys, Keith has officially lost his damn mind. (laughs) 
call the police. <laughs> um, I won't snitch. So snitch. I've been watching this one lady in this one video in particular, and she has this video where she does like the fluffy like Yeti, but she like hugs the microphone. And it's like getting like a hug. I love that. And shit. it was like really sort of impactful for me. That's sweet. Because yeah. I've, I don't know, I've been in the hospital since March, you know? And it, here it is, June. And that's a really long time. Yeah. And so, like, I haven't really had a hug in a really long time. So it, I don't know. It just hit different. Uh, and I was like, wow. This is going to help a lot of people. And I don't. And the funny thing is, I don't think this girl really knows that. Yeah. But I, I don't think people know the positive impact that ASMR has on people. Not, not often, including ASMRists. A lot of times, uh, ASMRists will be blown we get blown away by the comments we get when somebody uh tells us um how much we've impacted uh, them i remember one person in particular shout out to the corpse type uh he um he, he's the one who drew my first fan art ever um mm -hmm. th the first time that he commented on one of my videos he said um uh, i'm i'm in i'm in art school and um, i'm doing a final or something like that um, have been stressed out of my mind and your videos have been keeping me together during this time. And I was like, bro, A, I'm proud I can help. B, I wish I had that kind of help when I was in school. <laughs> because yeah, man. ASMR existed. It was brand new uh, when I was um, finishing up college, but I didn't know what ASMR was. Because we're old. Yeah, I didn't know what ASMR was until like six years after I graduated college. It's amazing though that somebody took their time out of their day to let you know. So, yeah. Because I mean, it's like, how else would you know? You kind of like you you put yourself out there, and you can only hope. Mm -hmm. And just kind of have no idea how <laughs> people on the other side of things like take it. Yeah. So, same question to you, Miss Savvy Savage, what Savannah. Question? Uh, Georgia. You will yeah. have to remind me what the question was. Savannah, Georgia? Uh, don't do it. What? Don't do it. Not the Savannah, Georgia. Not that one. I, I don't even get it. <laughs> don't you dare. It's just a city in Georgia. Oh. I've gotten it all my life. Have you ever been to Georgia? And I go, no. See, I knew no. somebody named Savannah in, in um uh in, in my youth and um she's the first person that typically comes to my mind when when I talk to somebody named Savannah. Not <laughs> not Savannah, Georgia, not the Savannahs, whatever the f fuck. The, no. the biome. The biome. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh Savannah. Chris, what was your question? Has anybody ever like blown you away with with their feedback or comments um i think i mean i get the occasional little like oh this is really nice like thank you i've been really stressed out about this but it, it's sort of like a little thing here and there i did get one really nice comment i think earlier this week um that was just the sweetest thing that somebody i i think i had only met like that week mm -hmm. had said like and it was very encouraging and very much like uh, I appreciate comments that compliment more about like my personality yeah. than physical appearance. They're always, you know, like 5,000 times sweeter. Um, but I was just yeah. like, the fact that a stranger took I agree. the time to be so kind and genuine just made me feel like that what I was doing was worth doing. Absolutely. At least to like, like you can. You can look pretty all day, every day, right? But that don't mean shit. Chad just got tattoos. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. I love tattoos. I, I love the 
a day after getting a tattoo when you completely clear your schedule so you can just recover. Uh, I have no <laughs> tattoos, so I have oh. no idea the feeling. But I'm it's sure. oh, exhausting. So I've heard, yeah. It's surprisingly, you don't realize just like how much it takes out of you, even for just like a small little spot. Really? Yeah. I could I got probably a handle tattoo a tattoo. On my, my back of my left shoulder in January, and it was the first time I'd gotten anything with color, and it took about two hours, and by the end of it, I was just like sweating. Oh. It was, oh my god, I was just like, I, oh my god, I gotta... I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. That's kind of how I felt after getting vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, the second you, dose especially. You babies. <laughs> I go to dialysis three days a week for three hours. I'd probably die. And then I... I am. I'd probably And die. then I go eat lunch. Complain to everyone. Yeah, Chris once uh, uploaded a, um, a a video on on his way to dialysis um, on Instagram. He's like, "We're on our way to dialysis uh, here. What up?" <laughs> <laughs> like only Christopher not walking. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yeah, we go into dialysis." Go into the vampire machine. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the vampire, the vampire machine. machine. That's good. Yeah, it's the vampire. That's what I call it. I call it the vampire machine because it takes your blood. Yeah. But it puts it back Because I want to suck yeah. your blood. Very kind. It gives it back to you, though, at least. It gives you back all. It gives back to you, and it cleans it. Mm-hmm. It's like... Dracula and Mr. Clean in one. <laughs> oh my god. That was called a solid joke. <laughs> that was that was a joke. I'm just picturing a bald dude. I'm just two. picturing a bald dude in a Romanian cape. But also maybe like with a little stethoscope. Just being like, yes. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> well, I have to clean this. We have to clean your blood. Yes. <laughs> it's dirty. Odd. It's not ever It's so dirty and I, I want to suck I, it. <laughs> it's not anything that I had ever thought that I would picture in my mind in my entire life. <laughs> and and now you have. I have. How yep. wonderful. Because because you met Christopher not walking. You became friends with Christopher not walking. By the way, you gotta come back on the show, Miss savannah when we get the lovely chrissy on the podcast yes i concur she's literally my neighbor she lives she told me distance from me yeah yeah she is my sick buddy oh i like that yeah not that not that not that y'all are sick but that that y'all are buddies about it (laughs) like oh how sweet She's probably the person that I've I met on Twitch that I like, connect to the most with actually. Um she just like right. right off the bat was super, super welcoming to me. Yeah. Like my second weekend I think and she was helping me out with some like issues that I was having. Um She was great. She was awesome because I like I was like hi I need to talk about this and I don't know how people are gonna take it and she like just listened to me and she was like no you're you're completely like justified in this and then after that we realized we had like a lot of things in common like we played D and D and nerdy shit and how'd you get into D and D uh. <laughs> uh a friend my best friend actually. Just was how long you've been playing? I'd say five years, five six years. What's your favorite thing about D and D? Hmm. Hmm. That's tough. Would it be the theatrical aspect of it? Hmm. I think it's more definitely just being able to sit down. Well. 
depending on the group, but being able to sit down with a bunch of people just like at a table with the snacks, with, you know, some drinks and just having fun and enjoying each other's company. And then you kind of figure out like how you like to play and you kind of figure out like the people that you like to play with. And it, I, I had such a really wonderful group of people that I played with. Uh, and I, I got burnt out though, so I haven't really played in a while. And I, I kind of miss it. Mm. We should start like ASMR D and D. Oh, you know, <laughs> there is a there is a podcast of that actually. Um, Roll for relaxation it has the ASMR nerd. It has Amy K. It has Whisperwind. I honestly forgot the rest of the cast, but yeah, that's uh, people likes them. That's awesome. Do you enjoy like one or the other more? Like, do you enjoy streaming or the podcast more? Or are they just to- totally different? They're just totally different. It's yeah, it's hard to say which one I enjoy uh, more than the other because I absolutely love doing both of them and and doing ASMR videos. I love all three of them. Um, it is. It, it balancing them is a bit of a challenge, but it's it's a fun challenge. It's so worth it, and they're all great. I was ready to, to quit, them. but then I started working with Keith. Yeah, quite like a while. Two now. years. How like, many? Pretty close to two years. I mean, it's like oh. like just a handful of episodes after he interviewed me, he uh, he brought me on to um, do. It, it do intros uh for the podcast and then brought me on as an editor and now co-producer oh my gosh and then the bonds were forged yeah yeah now i won't do an episode without him <laughs> <laughs> i literally won't ask him <laughs> this is true it's been will it's... you do an episode without him no okay there you go it has been quite a while since uh since he's done an episode without me and uh when he has i i was there to edit it at least you have any like favorite favorite moments like just absolutely you'll never forget it moments that you've had like interviewing people some never aired oh. some some never aired um the, there's been a couple that never aired um when i was on because i lost the damn footage and we had to oh, do no. it <laughs> Yeah, there was there was one where uh, where uh, we interviewed Miko a while back, and um, it had to be reshot because I lost the damn footage. Oh no! That happened in my episode actually. Um, uh, he he uh, his his recording of of uh, my interview uh, failed to save, so we had to reshoot the next day. And I uh, I recorded on my end too, just in case it would happen again on his end. And a good thing I did because it did. Oh no! Oh my God! We would have had to uh, do it a third time. I can't it's imagine not... that would be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it was. It was fun though. That that was my interview was uh, before the beard. Not <laughs> with the beard. Yeah. Yeah, it was when the show was called something completely different. That's right. We used to have a different name, old Sav. Did you know? Was it? Are you allowed to say what it is, or is it too embarrassing? Oh, we can say what it is. Yeah. The Dirty Nuri Show. Uh, okay. Well, because it like start this. it started out had having nothing to do with ASMR, so the Dirty mm, Nuri Show made mm-hmm. sense of a name. But then eventually it became about ASMR and interviewing ASMR artists and. The Dirty Nurse show, show, while it's a fun name, it doesn't mm-hmm. really fit the ASMR category. So one day, uh, Chris came to me and was like, I got an idea for a new name of the show. It's get, getting late. And I was like, hell yeah. It's good. It's a it, great name. It, it's it's ASMR suiting, and it sounds like a talk show, because this is <laughs> essentially a talk show. And I'm thinking of changing the logo again once I get out of the hospital. Okay. I like Just it, to change like it up. Neon. Oh, it'll still be neon. Yeah. But I, I just want to 
experiment and, and we have more than one. I just logo. want experiment is the name of my sex tape. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, he I'm amazed. Stole my bit. Yeah, because oh. you we went this far in the interview without you using that bit once. I'm amazed. Oh, I'm so mad I left it. That... No, listen. Oh She's a professional and a big braid, and I was trying to be respectful. Yeah, highbrow humor only, please. Keith. Fine. <laughs> I was trying to be respectful of her big brain, okay? I was trying to be that. So I didn't do any uh, sick tape jokes yet. It's okay. Yeah. But, but you know what? Now I'm going to be looking out. And I'm going to wait for the right moment. Okay. And then I'm going to get you guys. Wait for the right moment. Title of your sex tape. Oh, snap. Now she got <laughs> I mean, there's all different kinds of big brains. You know, you focus on one thing so long. But I have absolutely no idea. Like, if you talk to me about, like, engineering, I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know what this is that you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'm the about, same. Like, I know nothing about engineering. Yeah. I should say nothing, decide to, like, very little. Focus on. I'm a big brain on interviewing people. So maybe you could say it's psychology too. Maybe. Because I kind of know how people... I'm, I don't know. I'm just really good at reading people. Okay. Can you read me right now? <laughs> what am I thinking? Right yeah. Now? What am I thinking? What am I thinking right now, Chris? You're thinking about food. Nope. Yes. I am an owl, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about pineapple pizza and how delicious it is. Ooh, that, yeah, I, I could go for some right about now. Holy mm -hmm. shit. I, this interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm, so I'm calling the police. You guys, why are you being mean to me? I can't run away. <laughs> we see you rolling. We hating. <laughs> yeah, you stuck with me now. Shouldn't have. Uh, shouldn't have brought me here. Getting my arms back, you guys. You are and getting your arms back. I, I, I saw it. What's your? Uh, I don't know. Gym talk. What, what do people say? <laughs> what's you? What's? What? Do, what are you reps, bro? What do you? <laughs> What are your reps? I can't get this. Help. Help. How, 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 many, how many reps? What are you, reps, bro? What you, wow. What's your routine? Okay. What's your Leave, routine? Leave that in. I don't know what That's amazing. <laughs> That's uh, the name of anyway. I don't uh, go to gyms. I just exercise in my home because people. Oh, same here because pandemic. Ugh. Yeah. I was going to gyms before that, though. I have been exercising. And I was just like, no, thank you. <laughs> I've been exercising here in the hospital. No excuses, all you lazy motherfuckers out there. Yeah, it's true. Take note. Going hard on the protein. Going hard on the protein is the name of my sex tape. <laughs> oh, I'm back now, bitches. What? <laughs> so, Miss Sav... What is the future plans of your channel? What what, what you plans? gonna do? Gosh. What's the plans? What is the plan? Are you gonna conquer the world? <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. Oh, but it's definitely it an very option. much is for I you. It's an option. Well, that's I guess my five year plan. I guess. Um, but the plan, it's it's just baby steps so far. It's been like. Uh, like re most recently was the lights like i always kind of wanted to be working on the lights so i got like two little standing lights i stick in front of me and then i got some fancy oh why are you trying to make the lights better than me because they can stand the fuck zap <laughs> what are you what are you gonna do when they go down the city uh what when the lights oh. go down in the city <laughs> Excuse me. That's so that song is about San Francisco. What song? Uh, Lights by Journey. 
Yeah. Oh. That one. But I got I finally got that to a place that I like. And then I guess I don't know, I'll just like work on just kinda like upgrading the quality slowly but surely. Um, I would love to in the future do like charity related stuff. Yes. Definitely. We want to do charity related stuff too. Hell yeah. Very recently, I, I haven't talked about this on the podcast, I don't think, but very recently, the lovely Miss Hamilton raised over $900. Um, That's right. For me, uh, because apparently when you're recovering from a coma, people are like, here, have some money. And you're like, <laughs> thank you for this money. In fact, the first time I heard your voice since you woke up from that coma was on that stream. And um, I just, my heart just, I don't, I don't know the right word is to describe this justice, but it just, it was filled with glee. It mm. really was, man. I was back. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. And I was still recovering at the time, too. Because mm. if you could tell, my speech was a little slurred. Mm. Yeah. I have nothing to compare it to, so I will take your word for it. Um, well, when I woke up, when I woke up, I was having trouble. I had, I had to have spe speech therapy for a minute because mm. um, I was having trouble uh, not slurring um, after I woke up. Like, I would try to talk, and it would just come out garbled. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just like, what part of the brain is that? <laughs> and you tell, hey, Miss Sav, <laughs> I have questions about the brain. I might be able to answer them. Can you tell me why I had weird dreams when I was in a coma? I cannot. But I can tell you about theories about dreams. In comas? Uh, in comas, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I, well, I took a, I actually took a class on sleep psychology. It was actually the most difficult class that Sounds I took difficult. just because of, um, because it was a lot of just neuro, a lot of neuropsychology. Yeah. Um, wow. But there's so many theories. We're not actually sure, a hundred percent sure on like why we dream. But I would say I would guess, in a coma, hmm, just to probably keep your brain exercised, or else like if your brain's not getting that use, like visual, auditory, all that stuff, then, um, it's probably got to impact your brain pretty negatively so it's probably just kind of like i would visualize that muscle. in some of these dreams i would visualize i haven't told anybody this by the way in some of these dreams i would visualize like tv commercials that i saw before i was out right mm -hmm. and i would visualize these and i would visualize being in these like living these for real well, I mean, the theory is that then, they use them as practice. And then I would see certain family members. And then when I woke up, I was told that these very same family members visited me um, while I was in the coma. And then I was told I they would come see me again, right? And then I would... Uh, noticed that the mask that they were wearing uh, when they came to see me was the same mask that I saw them wear in the dream. Ooh. So now I'm like, Whoa. wait a minute. Interesting. Right? If you were kind of just like picking up on that and it seeped into your dreams. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many theories. Oh, yeah. It's fascinating. It's it's so weird, and I haven't I haven't really said anything to anyone about any of that stuff. It's, it's 
just so weird, man. We have some fan questions. Okay. Um, the first is from Tori, aka Tiger's Tail ASMR, aka Tori's Tiger's Tales, aka <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Tori Shima Eve. Okay. She uh, has a couple questions. Um, first one is bubble baths or showers? Bubble baths. Bubble baths. Bath bombs, if that's an option. Oh, I bubble uh, ba- bath Auction bombs. Fee. I'm only familiar with thanks to ASMR. <laughs> I've never been in the physical presence of a bath oh, bomb absolutely. to this day, and I, that needs to change. I used to work at a Lush, so 50% off discount, employee discount. I bought so many bath bombs. Yeah so nice i personally am more of a shower person though because uh in my experience both m- m- most bathtubs i've been in have those um have those nozzles sticking out where your head should be and i've oh, nice. had a few head injuries from that no. so i've i've grown accustomed to showering instead but bathtubs oh, yeah. that don't do that are my jam mm-hmm. just get some music or a book if you're feeling brave that you're not going to drop it <laughs> I'll I need you know what you guys afterwards because I know I will drop it I need a table speaking of bath over the tub. speaking of bath so while you're in the hospital they give you sponge baths but I only let like the really pretty like CNAs give me sponge baths of course and <laughs> and yes. then they come in and then they they get these like this had the pretty thing had nothing to do with it. That was just a joke. But um, they come in and then they 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 put like these little like shower caps on you that like wash your hair and stuff. Mm. And then they like rub your head, and it's like so ASMR. Oh, yeah, I bet. I so want that shit. Yeah. Oh. I'm I, I'm tired of not being able to go to clinics that do that. Why? What? Why can't you? Because we're still in the pandemic. I mean, I am vaccinated, but um, I don't know. There's, I guess, probably the, the people in those clinics are vaccinated too by right now. Maybe, maybe I could. I'll I think a lot of people it. have I've gained got... just sort of a general wariness. Yeah, I've gotten so used to not going places. <laughs> Mm-hmm. which is so against my I love nature it. it's it's uh, it is actually very against my you nature. love it why do you love it i love staying home i love canceling plans it's the best feeling ever oh uh, <laughs> i'll go out no i'll still go out like once once a week i love going out not being not at being part of a plan i love spontaneity yeah that's it's got to be that it's just like hey we want to try this new brewery it's like let's do it hell yeah because if I plan to do it a couple of days later, I know I'm not going to want to later. But if I want to do it now, I'll be like, I'm in the mood to do this. That's Let's fair. Um, That's how I am. I'm an in the mood type person. Yeah. Unless it's for the show. If it's for the show, I'm like, okay, we're going to plan to do this. <laughs> Planning now. is important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of plans, there's another question from Tori. If you could do anything, what would you do? Anything? Like, with my just, life? Just anything at all. Right now? Or ever. <laughs> oh, or ever? Well, honestly, the dream. Like, if I didn't have to worry about anything. I always had this dream of, like, being on Broadway. Nice. Musical. I love musical theater. Oh, I don't know. Just what do you want to be in? Like, just being in something like Heather's the Musical is one of my favorite musicals. I like Wicked. Mm-hmm. But I could die happy. Am I the only person that thinks Hamilton's overrated? I've never seen it. Hmm. So I You're have probably no comment. Not. Not for everybody. I loved it, but it, not everything is for everybody. Um, 
I, no, I thought it was good. You're so wrong. I'm not saying it's higher. good. Not good. I think it's good. I think it's really, really good. But I don't think it's what they say it is. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Mm. You think it just was a little too hyped up for you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it was good, but it wasn't like so good. Another one that I think is really hyped up for no apparent reason is Cats. No, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. Because it's a big part of my childhood. So Cats holds a special place in my heart forever. Not the movie, but the actual musical. Man, we... All alone in the moon. I think Cats... No, it was like the second musical I ever saw in my entire life. So, uh, like I saw when I was a kid, so I will always love it. So Josh Silver, um, I'm I'm gonna expose uh, I'm gonna expose him for something real quick um, <laughs> because I I posted in the Discord I uh, ask fan questions for for Savvy ASMR and then he asks it by replying to my previous notification of that for Zelda X River. But I'm going to delegate these uh, questions to you, Sav, so get ready. Sure. Um, he has three questions. Okay. Um, <laughs> favorite ASM artist? Ooh. Um, I will have to go with Whispers Red. Good choice. Because if I ever need to fall asleep, she's who I put on. Yeah. She's fantastic. You know who I put on? Who? You know who I put on? Um, no. Luna Rex. Luna Rex. Luna Rex. I don't think I know who that is. I'm still kind of learning about who everybody is. <laughs> I well, like introduce Luna... myself to people slowly. Luna Rex is my queen. <laughs> yeah. And I queen. love her. I uh, I usually to falsely put on J Rob the Human these days, <laughs> aka Justin Robinson. That dude is next level. All right, awesome. What what he does is so unique. I've also yeah. been listening to Fox again. She has that video with the hugs. That's who yeah. has the hugs video, you guys. Oh. Um, yeah. She has the hugs I'm video. Ever, although if I'm ever awake at like four o'clock in the morning. Viv puts me to sleep. Viv, yes. Her hands. Softly galoshes usually comes to my mind when it comes to like hugs um, ASMR. Mm. She's really good. She before I became an ASMR, she was my number one go to um for oh. falling asleep. Oh. Love Sophia ASMR. Oh. Love Sophia ASMR is wonderful. And she does a lot of like cuddle up type role plays and massage type role plays. And I like that stuff, man. Not because I like like girlfriend stuff. I particularly find the concept a bit weird, (laughs) but I like the idea of human contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if people could make those videos without like the whole like concept of like, Oh, I'm your girlfriend. I love you. <laughs> Can you if you like if they made a video where they just didn't do that, but like still did all like the human contact stuff? Yeah. I need to do a bro hugs video then. <laughs> do it. Do it, and I'll put in the comments about about tweaking your man nipples. What if I actually did that? And uh, made an OnlyFans with an M. And Chris would be your number one patron. Yes. Yeah. That'd be tight. <laughs> um, That's oh, that'd be tight is the name of my sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Josh. Silver's, I'm back, babies. <laughs> he is. Josh Silver's second question is. Well, not so much, a, or I guess it is. It's a command followed by a question related to it. <laughs> Cough up your favorite food. What is it? Oh, oh, it's uh, oh, too many, too many favorites. Uh, 
It feels like we have. They're gonna make our brain explode. It, it feels like we have Katie back on the show. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. My favorite color is pizza. Uh, I like to rephrase this question as like if you could that. eat one thing forever. I love that girl. Know. Don't do her like that. Come on now. I love that girl too, and that's why man, that's why I'm giving her a hard time. <laughs> Immediately my Poor first thought, Katie. thought it was like favorite food, bread. Garlic bread. Oh yes, I love garlic bread. You know. But what? also, if it was like one I'm, thing, I'm gonna make some forever. garlic bread after this. Why not? Korean barbecue. I hiccuped. Sure. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Oh. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't become Pitches. breathless. I just hiccuped. But oh. yes, Korean barbecue is freaking awesome. Chop mm-hmm. she, my jam. That's like special occasion. You don't eat all day. You get Korean barbecue. You eat till it hurts. Yeah. You eat a little bit more, and then you go home. Mm-hmm. Try not to have a stomach ache. Oh, I don't California care. People. I, don't, I don't care if I have a stomach ache after that. It's worth it. <laughs> eat some tums. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You dang on California people. <laughs> we are very Californian. Mm-hmm. California is great. It's got like everything. It has Especially, everything. Yeah. Literally everything. You if list, I want some Indian food, I, I go get some Indian food. Indian food's my favorite. You listen to me, Absolutely. California people. You know what? I'm going to go on camera for this one. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Listen to me. <laughs> you dirty, rotten California people. Oh, I'm very dirty and very rotten. Very Californian. <laughs> you listen to me right now, and you listen good. The best barbecue, hands down, period, is Texas. Exclamation point. Bitch, I'll murder you. Exclamation <laughs> point. A California praising Texas. That says something. Wow. How brave. <laughs> Exclamation point, period. Quotation mark. Okay. For no reason. Because you know why? Language does not matter when it comes to Carolina barbecue because it's like it. Carolina barbecue. Well, it's it's different. It's like, it's, yeah, I it's mean, super different kinds of It barbecue. is where the Carolina Reaper and Pepper X came from, so I'll give you that. Oh, no. That's right. Carolina Reaper came mm-hmm. from Carolina, where I'm from. My neck of the woods is <laughs> we the best. I'll give you that. Bitch. So I love that shit. All right. All right. Strong feelings about food. It's, it's important to have. So this is a matter of super, super, con- of super things conven- about food. Super convenient timing. Uh, mm-hmm. Josh's last question, which we already covered, but we're going to cover it again because why not? Pineapple pizza, yay or nay? Oh, yes. And Chris yeah, replied, yeah, yeah. pineapple <laughs> pizza is a crime. And I re- replied with a gif of Phoenix Wright saying, objection! Objection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say it, be- said it before and I'll say it again. Pineapple is delicious on pizza. It really is. In you know what? Opinion. It tenderizes the meat. It's like you get a good mixture of like sweet and salty. Oh, I don't get meat mm. to tenderize. Sweet and salty is the name of my sex tape. Mm. Starring mm. pineapple pizza. Starring pineapple pizza. No. That's the one we deliver, <laughs> the pineapple pizza. Oh, we Otherwise, deliver. It's not happening. You guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> We're only doing this because we love you, man. I don't write the questions. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Chris's favorite thing is to give uh, give me a list of his rules, followed by I don't make the rules. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, hey, man, listen. I don't make the rules, okay? <laughs> See? So... Um, were there any more questions? Yeah, there's something that I need Keith to cut in right here. Okay. So I'm going to send it in general right now. Because I want you to see it, Sav. 
question? I don't want to get your reaction. Oh. No, no. it's it's a video. Oh no. I... A video? It's a it's, it's an Instagram video. Can I watch it later? Can I watch it later? <laughs> no, oh, we oh, need yeah. your your live reaction so we can oh, put it in the show. Okay. That's okay. true. In post. Only a minute. In post, I uh I will put the video in by itself, but on this recording, Chris will put a link to it, and we could get your reaction to it. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. So it's. So here's here's the thing. And it's only like a minute. So you, it's not even long. It's not even long as the name of my sex tape. <laughs> I was oh, waiting no. for that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. All right. I want you to. Actually, no. Cause I'll I, watch it. Actually, actually no, because I need uh, Zap's audio separate from mine. Okay. okay. Go for it. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Everybody knows that it's <laughs> pizza time. Listen, you guys. I try not to be... <laughs> Controversial. You saying I try okay. not to be controversial, but to, makes me think this is going to be really controversial. Off, if you will, too much. It's going to be about pizza, though. Me in trouble, oh yep, here you comes. Right now, okay. If you like pineapple pizza, you pussy. And oh, okay. that's all I got. So I'm tough say. and versatile. This has been pizza time with. I'm tough no, and versatile yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I like yeah, yeah. pineapple and pizza. I love it. <laughs> yes, this is the absolute no, perfect no, no. description. You pussy. Like, like I said, <laughs> the, when I when I watched this on Twitter, I replied, "You do realize that mm -hmm. a, a pussy could give birth. A dick breaks yeah. if you sit on it wrong." <laughs> Facts. Science. Facts. Straight facts. Yeah, I'll I'll back this up mm -hmm. with my science brain. <laughs> Straight facts. All right. Can't confirm. Listen, <laughs> listen, science brain. Your science brain ain't got nothing to do with dicks breaking. So, eh. second of all, second of all, pineapple on pizza is a goddamn crime, and I will be reporting you. To the proper authorities. All right, do Third it. Third of all, do it. I will. I, do I, it. I, you just wait. Do it. I'm just <laughs> do it. Just wait. I'm going to do it. I will do it. Do it. And I will do it good. <sighs> you don't know the power of a meaty pizza. <laughs> like all kind of pizzas, though. And he's not. What are your other? That. Black olives. Black olives are amazing. I'm with you. Black um, olives are weird. Yeah, I don't like olives. It's the only thing I think I want to eat on a pizza. Yeah. I like things on a pizza. Okay. And I would probably like pineapple on a pizza, but it's just against my religion. Wait, you haven't even tried no, it? No, he hasn't. What? <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even tried it you can't say all that shit about i'm it. calling the police calling the police oh N no i can't you have to try it and then talk to me savannah i have eyes i can tell that it doesn't belong on a pizza i've I never just look had carolina barbecue before so i could say right now that it's not good and you'd be like well have you had it and i'd be like no well then how would i know she has a point Oh, hold on. Hold. <laughs> Listen, big brain. I need you to, to fucking comment. It feels Never. so good. It feels so good feels... to have a fellow Californian on my side. Oh, my God. I feel like fuel, this is just fuel to the fire right now. It is. Of... Well, we, we Californians know a thing or two about fueling fire. Oh, no. No. Listen, big brain. I need you to... Fucking cool it. Okay. 
because everybody knows that Carolina barbecue is the best barbecue. Fucking. Oh, yeah. How do I know that? Why don't you come and get some? <laughs> Maybe I will. Gosh. I actually do want to. I actually I'm do want to try Carolina barbecue. I'll try anything. As long as it's not too spicy. Oh, it, it's, if it the spi- for me, the spicier the better. Mm. Well, it depends on there's different levels to it, man. You can get yeah. extra spicy or you can get not. Okay. Yeah. It's still Carolina barbecue. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to have Carolina Reaper. I mean God. Carolina barbecue existed before twenty thirteen. That's yeah. that's when the uh, Carolina Reaper came about. So, Miss Sav, um, where can the people find you? Where on the Twitch, I assume, right? Yeah. Yeah, on Twitch right now, that's pretty much the place to be. You also have a Discord, place though, be... right? I do. Yeah, you can find. I think like the links I have to everything is on the Twitch like about me page. There is a Discord. Yeah. And then it links to like everything else is all my all my dice stuff. It's been absolutely lovely just hanging out with you guys for two Likewise. whole hours. Um, I appreciate you asking me to be on the show like so so much. It's our pleasure. We appreciate you I because appreciate you, you appreciating me because <laughs> you are actually good at this, like. Some people are like kind of good at this shit. You're okay. like actually like really, really good at this shit. And it's wonderful. And I adore you. And I can't wait to see what you do next. And uh, yeah, you guys, with that in mind, listen, okay? Coming to you re- pre recorded, but right now I'm live from the hospital uh it's your boy christopher not walking that's fab cam that's sav asmr the new asmr queen of twitch and this has been it's getting late uh make sure you come and see us next time and i will write more jokes and interview more asm artists and stuff like that. And to all the, I, I, I want to get serious really quick for a second. To all the people who um, prayed for me and sent out all of the kind wishes while I was going through stuff and in a coma, you know who you are. Um, and said all the, the nice things and prayed for me and all that stuff. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you. Um, it means the world to me, and I didn't know people cared the way that people care. And it was just really heartwarming to see all of that, um, to go back and see all of that after I, I got out of the coma and everything. Um... So yeah, thank you guys. Um, we love you, man. But yeah, um, well, I love you guys too. But yeah, guys, go check out Sav. She's great. Go check out Famcam. He's great. Go check out what I do on IG and Twitter. And we'll see you in the next interview. This has been It's Getting Late. We love you. Bye. Stay chill. <laughs>